Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm here about to make a review on my new Paula Dean air fryer. Check that out. Yeah, Kitchen Electrics. This is a 6.13 quart. I paid $90 for it on Amazon. The link is below, so if you're interested in purchasing it, just click the link below. All right, guys. Um, see, it's brand new. I haven't even opened it. I just took it out of the box. I just got it about not even three hours ago. I was sleeping and I heard the guy knocking. I was excited because I knew it was my air fryer. So I got up. <laughs> yep, this is it, guys. Oh my god. I love her already. Brand new, brand new. All right, guys. Be right back. So, guys, this is the one that I purchased on Amazon. It's the um, Paul Dean store. Uh, Paul Dean 6.13 quart 17,000 watt extra large air fryer. I was trying to actually buy like a medium. I didn't know that I actually purchased the extra large thing. It's pretty big. <laughs> so I'm just showing you which one I got. Boom. And it's um, $89.99. It took about four days to get here, I believe. I got it on Amazon Prime sale. Um, I don't think there was really a sale though. I think that was actually the regular price of the, for, of it. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to get it. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is it, the parts description. It's giving you the numbers, what everything is. Um, everything has its own number. All right, so let's see. Number one is air inlet. Where's that at? Number one. I guess that's this right here. That's where the air comes through, comes in and out through. Uh, number two is the heating light. Where's that at? Number two right here. Heating light. Three, timer knob, power light. Four, temperature knob. I don't want to take too long, guys. I know you probably don't want to hear all this. Main body. Six, cooking chamber. Handle. Number nine, cooking insert. Number ten, cooking chamber. Cooking insert. It says automatic switch off. So we're going to turn it on to see how loud it sounds. Okay, guys? Let's see. Right. It's pretty loud. I hear the um I feel the air in the back right here in the back part of it. Okay. Right here for uh, 180, you can put it to 180, 230, 280, 320, 360, 400 um degrees. Alright. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm actually going to make some wings because um, I saw the videos on the wings on the air fryer and it looked pretty good. So I went and got some wings. So I'm going to clean these up, season them. You can season them whatever you like. I'm going to use this one, which is Wake Up Flavors. What is it? Flavor Enchancer with seasoning salt. Garlic. What else? I like this one. I've been using this to season the meat too, and it tastes really good. Sazonador total. Sazonador total. <laughs> and of course, one of these. All right. And um, let's see what else. I didn't even open it to show you guys how big it is inside. Look at that. Let me I gotta clean all this up before I start doing it. Oh, wow. You can also buy different utensils on Amazon for it. It has other um things you can buy. This is so cool. Wow, look at that. Boom. See it on the inside? How nice. Of course, you can wash all this stuff. Okay. Get this out the way. Let's see how that looks in the inside. That's not the fun one. Let's get in there. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Guys, that looks great already. I can't wait to try it. I've been waiting for it to get here. So I'll be back, guys. I'm going to season the meat, clean it with vinegar, wash it, and you already saw my seasonings. You can use whatever you like. It's by choice. You don't have to use what I'm using. Um, what else am I going to use? I don't think I'm going to use black pepper. That's it. This is about all the seasonings I'm going to put on the, the wings. Okay, guys. All right. Be back soon. So guys, I washed this. Um, I'm going to dry it because I don't really know if um, it's a good idea to just put it back in there um, wet. So I'm just going to um, kind of like take this and clean this here because I don't, you can't obviously wet this, unfortunately. So.
so I'm going to dry this real good. I think it's a good idea to dry it real well before you put it back in there. Okay, guys? All right. I'm also going to use onion powder, okay? Remember, it's to your liking. You can use whatever you want. Black pepper, salt, um, whatever you like. It's up to you, okay, guys? This is what I'm going to use. So these are my seasonings. And I'm going to season the chicken. I just washed it. And I'm going to season it, and I'll be right back, guys. So I'm going to preheat this so I can be already hot when I put these inside, okay, guys? So that's up to you, but I think it's a better idea if you don't preheat it. So when you put it in, at the pool inside, it's kind of warm already. Also, it has all these um, pictures of what you can cook here and how high you should cook it. So it says the meat, I have to put it at 400. I had it at 360, so I guess we have to change that to 400. And this one is pretty cool because it goes up to 60 minutes. Most air fryers go only go up to 30. So that's that's something I kind of like. So here's everything, guys. Here's a better picture. All right. Let's place this phone back down correctly. <laughs> Put it back so. Okay, so I'm done seasoning these babies up. Oh, they look delicious. So I watched some videos on YouTube. And it showed people, um, YouTubers spraying this on the food, so I guess it won't stick. So I'm gonna put it in here. Oh, that thing is sizzling here. It's too high. I think I might have messed that up putting it too high. Let's see. I put it on top of this because it's hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray this inside. Oh well. And um, I guess I'll spray some of it in the meat on the meat. I'm gonna put the meat inside. I don't know. There's a lot, baby. There's a lot. And this is extra large, so I think I should be able to fit all of these inside. I'm going to show you when I'm done putting them all inside, guys. I should be better at this by now, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I can't wait to try these. It's not even, it's not even um, 12 o'clock, and I'm ready to just eat one of these when you're done, honestly. Okay, it's time. <laughs> so I'm just trying to um, make space for all of them so they can fit nice and snug. Okay, I'm just going to throw that juice in there. We don't want to throw that, all right? We don't want that to go to waste. Second, guys, let me just rinse my hands. Yeah, I'm touching meat. Rinse my hands real quick. Dry them up. I don't want to touch this with my hands dirty. All right, so this is how it looks. All of them fitted in there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I fitted ten wings in there. I mean, it is extra large. All right, and you can cook a lot of things in here, guys. Basically, flan, cake, anything, anything. Um, I think the book has more recipes. I'm gonna go more into that when I'm putting this in here, and we let that cook okay guys all right so let's put it in here remember it has to be at 400 for the meat it says up here on the top and i'm gonna put it for 20, uh, 20 minutes and then i'm gonna check it and turn it because you have to turn the food in the air fry i was told i'm gonna move it more over here so this air you know has space to Circling, all right. So I spray some of this, wipe it down. I don't like to leave anything dirty. Then when you go back, it's a mess. <laughs> all right. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I was supposed to get this a week from now, and it's here today. Yay! All right. So let's see. Back to me. <laughs> back to seeing my beautiful face. All right, guys. So here is the book. Uh, remove all the packaging materials. I probably should have read this before, right? Okay, this is too high. Let's put it over. Oh, look at the mess I have back there, guys. <laughs> it says, before first use, remove all packaging materials, stickers, and labels. I did that already, guys. Yeah, I have it here. I stuck it here in this paper. <laughs> all right, what else? Clean the cooking chamber and accessories with hot water, dishwashing liquid, and non-abrasive sponge. Wipe the inside and outside of the appliance with a cloth. Well, thank God I did that too, right? 
Let's see if it has recipes. So far, I don't see any. Okay, I found the recipes. Deep fry. You can. You guys can read um how to clean it and everything later on. But I, I want to get to the juicy stuff like the recipes. It says deep fried mac and wow, you can even make mac and cheese on this. Fried green tomatoes with Vidalia onion relish. That sounds weird. Naked hot chicken wings. Oh, look at that. I had a whole recipe here, guys, and I just went and did my own thing. And we have southern fried chicken. You can make a whole chicken in this thing also, guys. You can basically do anything. Except rice. I don't think you can make rice on this. And then you have your fried pork chops with tomato gravy. And the good thing about this is that it's not frying the food. You're basically using no oil unless you just, you know, you have to put a little bit on the food so it won't stick and stuff. But that's not as much oil as you use in the regular stove. And then here, bacon wrapped shrimp. All right, so you guys get the idea. So we're gonna be back in 20. We're gonna flip these, and I'll see you guys in 20 minutes or about 18 minutes. It's been right <laughs> later, guys. So excuse my hair, guys. I'm all wet because you know I'm cooking. This is reality. This is how we look in the kitchen. We do not always look. Oh, I'm so pretty cooking. No, let's let's go down. Let's talk about the reality. This is my hair. I just washed it. I cut it. Maybe too much. <laughs> I do miss my long hair. Let's close this. You don't want to see what I got in there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go flat iron it. I'm waiting for my new iron to come. So I'm going to probably just be looking a little crazy. I'm going to pick it up because, you know, I look like a hot mess. But um, yeah, I was going to use my old iron. I'm going to show it to you right now, guys. It's pretty decent for a $30 flat iron. Let me go get it so I can show it. This is it. My boyfriend got this for me. Infinity Pro, and it's been a pretty good flat iron. I've had it for a while now. I think like a, almost two years. But um, my new one is it has um, you can curl your hair and flat iron it all at once. You you'll see a video about that soon. But uh, I, I, I mean I should make another video today, right? Because I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna use it and I can kind of show you you know the process of the new flat iron and how good it is in reviews. <laughs> So far, what I like about this, so far, I just got it, but what I like about it so far is that, um, you know, um, my stove is clean. It's I'm not frying, making a mess, oil all over the place. I like that. I like that my stove is clean, and that I just threw them wings in here, and they're just cooking, and the, there's, the mess is in there. All I got to do is clean in the sink, and that's it. I really hate it having to clean oil off the stove and the um, wall is just the worst thing for me. I just really detest it. It's like more work for me. I, I really don't need that. We have enough things to do with life, guys. We're celebrating my new air fryer. Cheers, guys. It's 5 o'clock somewhere in the world. It's only 12 or 5 here, but hey, who cares, right? It's only a little bit of wine. They say a glass of wine a day. It's good for you. I don't know what else they say, but I think that's the same, right? <laughs> hey, forgive me. I look a mess, guys. I miss you all though. This YouTube thing is a little hard though, honestly. Because you kind of get a little discouraged, you know? It's been months already. I should have a million views and I don't. <laughs> but I guess good things take time. Oh, so good. Cheers, 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 cheers. So guys, I had a bad angle. So I found a good spot for my phone. <laughs> Um, it hasn't even been 20 minutes and look at this guys. Don't those look delicious? So I'm gonna flip these. Let's move this. This is hot. Where's my thing? These are the best. I love these because you can wash them and use them over and over and over and over. <laughs> the other ones, I don't know, they get burned too fast. So I'm gonna grab my little gravy here. We love this tool in here. We all fight over it. What happened to the gravy? Because, you know. I decided to throw out the other ones I had. They were too big and I don't know. I just I get I just throw them out. Threw them out. So I'm gonna turn these. I don't wanna use my hands, I'm scared I might get burned. Let me see. They're not that hot, you can use your hand, but I think I'll prefer to just use this. So. I think another twenty-five more minutes would definitely do the trick. Yup. 25 more. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to accumulate these as best as I could. I didn't turn them all. They're not working with me here. Oh, these look delicious. Wow. 
I love this air fryer already. I can tell this tool is going to be my best friend. All right, let's put these back in the side. Move this forward so the air can float real good. And I'm going to put it for about 20. Let's just try the 20 minute. Let's just do 25. I'm guessing the middle is 25. So we'll do 25 because that's me, you know, and I don't know. But we'll check it and see if it's done and how it's looking. We'll cut one up. All right, guys, be back soon. So, guys, I see a lot of smoke on this. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I lower the temperature to 360. All right? That's me. I mean, I don't know if this is normal. I'll have to read more into it or whatever, you know? But um, it doesn't look so... I mean, should that be happening? <laughs> This is what happens when you read all those instructions, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read more of those instructions now that I'm just here doing nothing. I was about to try to do my hair because I look crazy and I was trying to look good for you guys. But this is me looking crazy, guys. This is me looking crazy. <laughs> so, guys, it's been about, I don't know, um, five minutes, I think. Remember, I um, put it back in for 25 more minutes. I don't know. This is looking almost done to me. So we're going to change this to about, can I move it? Let me see. I'm a lefty guy. I don't think I can move this. Oh, it's open. So I guess when it's open, it's not letting you um turn the knob. So let's close it. But this looks almost done, guys, right? Look at that. That looks delicious. Yeah, so basically if it's open, you cannot turn this knob. It has to be closed for you to be able to turn the knob. So, these look done. It's been about 35 minutes, I believe. I kind of lost count. I won't even lie. But these look done. We're going to find out now. Let's see. Look at that. Mm. Maybe a little more crispier. A little five more minutes. Maybe? Maybe? <clears throat> oh, look at that. Mm -mm. Oh, ding ding. Time's up. I think I'm gonna put it for. F I don't know. I think they're kind of done. Give me one second. Now. So, yes, these are definitely delicious. I just tried one and I'm gonna take the rest out. <laughs> Mmm, guys, I'm gonna love this. They've been telling me about this for a long time. I just didn't want to spend the money. So now I have to clean this because I want to make some vegetables in the air fryer. Let's show you now. Season them. Clean this. So I'm gonna make this next, guys. All right. I didn't add no oil to this and look at all the oil it has in the bottom. No oil. That's just natural oil. So I want to make some of this broccoli with these vegetables, so I have to um, cut them off or whatever, you know, boom, boom, throw them in here with these. I'll be right back, guys. So now I'm going to season the veggies with garlic, uh, sea salt, pink sea salt, and black pepper. All right, garlic, pink sea salt, black pepper. I'm going to spray a little bit of olive oil on them, just a little tad bit. So they won't stick, you know. And so the seasoning basically should stick to it. Okay. Great. Alright, some garlic. Some black pepper. Get that already. <laughs> and some pink sea salt. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my hands again. Sorry guys, I like to wash my hands a lot when I'm in the kitchen and I'm eating a lot. Alright. I'm going to use some of this to put it in here because 
this has um see the vegetables can go through here so i'm gonna have to put cellophane wrap i'm gonna put some cellophane wrap and then i'm gonna put the veggies on top maybe i can spray a little bit of this so they won't stick too much the way the spray comes out like it doesn't come out correct all right i'm gonna put a tad bit more garlic make sure those are seasoned right all right spread those out so i'm gonna do this for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Right, 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Here you go, guys. So, 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, let's move this over here so you can see it better. So, 15 at 400. All right, guys, we'll be back later to see how those look. So guys, this is halfway through. Um, it's really not hot, so you can actually go over here. Yeah, this shit is hot right here. You don't want to touch that shit. <laughs> I just got burned. <laughs> so over here, you can move it around. The air is coming out through here. So I'm going to open it because it's half. Whoa, look at that, guys. It hasn't even been 15 minutes. I'm just loving this air fryer. Sorry, guys. I'm just loving it, loving it. So I'm going to turn these because remember, you have to turn the stuff in the air fryer halfway through. Probably a good idea to turn it around, you know. The um, cellophane paper is kind of mushy wet, so I don't know if that was a good idea, but I had to put something there so the vegetables won't go through. I guess I could have just um, put it like that without the rag, guys, but I can't take it out now, it's too late. Uh, or is it? Yeah, it might be. So let's put it back, because the clock is ticking. I'm gonna have to put it back, put it more down, because I missed like a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back soon. Yay, so exciting. This air fryer doesn't bring a lot of recipes, but I got this in the dollar store, which is awesome, right? And it has um, a lot of recipes. Oh, look at that. Roasted cauliflower. I actually want to make barbecue cauliflower florets in this, but I can't because I already made the wings today. So, I mean, I guess maybe another day. And um, this is pretty decent. Look at that. Mm. Honey lime tilapia for a dollar. You can't go wrong. This thing has a lot of decent recipes here for a dollar. So I'm gonna make some of these here in the um, air fryer, okay, guys? But this is pretty cool. I haven't ha I haven't checked um, tried any of these yet, but I'm definitely going to now. So guys, I took these out again to check them out. They look almost done. These are crispy for sure. This broccoli. I'm gonna taste it. Please. Oh, I love it. I hate my broccoli saga. But crispy like that, it's delicious. So let's put it back and take it out in a few minutes. All right, guys. So I tasted the carrots and they're still kind of hard, so I lowered the temperature to like 325, and it still has about seven minutes left. Okay, guys. So I lowered the temperature because the broccoli's done and um, the carrots are still a little need more, a little more time. Okay. So guys, after this, I want to make some apple chips. They seem really delicious. I haven't had lunch, just a piece of um, wing, um, chicken wing that I made. Mm, those look so good. I swear to God, I just want to eat them all. <laughs> My fat ass. Um, those look delicious though. Um, so these apples, you're going to slice them like this. We're, I'm going to show you guys, and then we're going to season it with cinnamon and a little bit of salt. All right, so we're going to slice these down and make apple chips. All right, guys? So guys, these look done. Seems like the broccoli is extra, extra crispy. <laughs> oh, it tastes delicious. I like it. I don't know no problem with extra crispy broccoli. Oh, that's delicious, guys. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna take these out. Little hot. Woo wee! Jackpot, guys. Jackpot. Let me pick this up. I just dropped it. Sorry, guys. 
bloopers. <laughs> Just gonna give, let this cool down for a minute. Then I'm gonna rinse it. And my apple slices, I cut them up. I'm trying to take out the middle part because that's kind of hard. You don't want, it. you don't want that. And I'm gonna make apple chips in the air fryer. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. This is this is pretty easy to clean. Um, I like to rinse it out and clean it after um, all the things that I make, even though it's only been two things. But I can tell this is gonna be my best friend. <laughs> Still hot, so I didn't really clean the outside. I won't lie, because I already did that this first time I cleaned it. The second time I cleaned it, I did that. I cleaned it twice. So in the inside, I just cleaned the inside and wiped it down right here because it looks like a little, you know, wet from um, being in there with the heat. So it's about to stop. About to stop it. Help the process. All right. So these vegetables are looking good. Now I'm all about eating healthy. I'm trying to at least. I got my days where I mess up. But I'm gonna stand here and lie. <laughs> we ain't gonna lie, guys. So I'm just taking the middle out for these chips. We're almost done with that. Oh, what happened here? What happened here? All right. There's a tool for this, guys, but I don't have it, so I have to work with what I have until I get that little tool. Just trying to cut the little middle part. We don't want to be crunching on something hard or seize or anything like that. I don't have the tool, unfortunately, so just got to use my knife. All right, guys. Then I'm going to throw some salt, and um, this one doesn't have anything in the middle. I'm just going to leave that like that. Some salt and... Um, Cinnamon, this is a cute a little star. It's a little star, guys. It's a little star. And now I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer for how long? 360, 10 minutes, all right? Because the air fryer is already hot, so I think that's a good amount of time. We, we can check it, yeah, but we have to turn it, so we have to check it five minutes, turn it, and then boom. All right. Okay, I'm gonna use the no, should I use the pink sea salt? I don't want to throw too much salt on these, you know, mess them up. So I'm sprinkling some salt. I think I'm only gonna put salt in one side, cinnamon in two sides. But you can do whatever you like, guys. If you want to do both sides with the salt, hey, why not? Go right ahead. Oh my god, cinnamon smells so good. Just wanna like throw it, eat it, like mmm. <laughs> Turn these around. Sorry guys, I know I always do things so fast. I don't know. It's just like always how I've been. I gotta slow my life down. So easier said than done. So I'm turning these around. And these small pieces over here. I don't really like apples too much, but I think I'm definitely gonna like those apple chips. I use them in my green juice. I like the, the apples that come up, cut up in slices. Those are like, those are like, alright so now we're gonna throw some more cinnamon, cinnamon, not too much, I think I might be getting a little happy here with the cinnamon, alright, let's see, alright, let me um, dry this with a paper towel, put that in here, Figure this out so put it wrong. There we go. I'm gonna throw these babies in here. Alright, looking good. It's looking good guys. <laughs> oh man. Just trying to make different things guys so you can see how great this thing is. My coworker has been telling me about this forever. Two of my coworkers. And I've been meaning to get it and I just haven't got it. Well I got it now, of course. Like, let me get it. it cost me 90 bucks but i think it is definitely gonna be worth every penny so far i love it wash my hands real quick i need to put um hand towel dryer here because i think i've used like 20 paper towels already <laughs> all right so guys let me um, see this clean in the bottom we're gonna put it for 360 at 10 minutes okay my cat she's crazy she's running all over the place 
360, 10 minutes. Alright guys, we'll be back in, six, in 5 minutes and see how it looks and then turn it, alright? So guys, it's been 5 minutes. Let's see how these look. Definitely not done. <laughs> alright. Let's just put them back. I'm going to up it up a little more, not too much. So like 365 I guess. Just come back to it and see how it looks in another five minutes. All right, it's been about four minutes. I decided to check it before the five. Let's see. Okay, what well, looks like it's burning, <laughs> but um, we're gonna turn these, all right? Okay, let's turn these babies. I'm using this because you know I don't know how hot this thing is. Might burn me, might not. Don't want to risk it. Don't want to chance it. These are all stuck together. I'm gonna turn this one. Can't remember where I turned that one. All right, all right. So let's put these back. Another six minutes. Six minutes, okay, guys. We'll be back. Okay, guys. So these are the apple chips. I'm gonna take them off because it doesn't look like they need more time. All right, get a plate, make sure that it's dry, take these babies out, they smell delicious, I smell the cinnamon, so these are apple chips guys, and um, there's a tool to cut those too in slices. So they can cook even, but I don't have that tool. <laughs> this bag so far, I love it. I love it. So the apple chips. Let's try one. Mmm. That was good. I don't think I'm sharing this. <laughs> My boyfriend's not here, so. <laughs> okay, I'll save him up here. Oh. Those are good. Mmm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So, this is everything we've made so far. Let me throw this out. Got the veggies. Move this new baby that I love so much to the side. Got the wings. Got the apple chips. So far, everything is delicious. Delicious, guys. There it is. There's the air fryer. My new favorite tool. Now I ain't gotta be using the oven every time. In the summertime, that thing gets hot. The whole house is hot. Excuse me as I'm doing my hair because my flat iron's taking forever to get here. Yeah, so excuse my crazy look. All right, guys. Um, I love it so far. I have no complaints about it. It gets really hot so sometimes you know instead of going up you just gotta you know you can go high but if you see that the thing's getting like too crispy and it's not getting cooked inside you definitely gotta lower the temperature because it is like a conventional oven but so far I love it it's great thank you guys for watching my channel and my video I truly appreciate it and I will see you more often I know I always say that right and I disappear on you guys but I'm just gonna use YouTube for fun because I mean it should be fun anyway no matter what right Alright guys, see you soon and everybody take care. Have a great day.